Hey what's up guys, it's Intel here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to refill faster, and I'm going to show you guys three different methods that you can use to increase your refilling speed, along with a few different tips and tricks that might help you refill faster. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright, so before we get into the three different methods, I want to talk to you guys about some tips that will probably help you refill faster if you're not doing them already. And the first is to go ahead and play with a large GUI skill or auto GUI skill. So I know a lot of people play with a normal GUI skill, and I used to for the longest time, however, when you're managing your inventory, it's so much more small and cluttered and makes it a lot harder to make a lot more precise movements. So I really recommend just again, turning it up to either larger autos, you have a lot more room to manage your pots in your inventory or whatever you're gonna be refilling for. The second tip that I have is to have a low DPI and you really wanna make sure your DPI is low enough that you can actually manage your inventory and accurately move to any of the slots without skipping over any. So with a DPI range, I recommend anywhere between 800 and 400 DPI. I think that's pretty safe. Again, you don't want it to be like absurdly high so that you're just like shaking throughout your inventory when you're trying to refill. You wanna keep it low. It'll help you a lot having a lower DPI trying to refill your pot. So once again, uh, between 800 and 400 I'd say is the best range for being able to refill good but yeah I just want to stress that those two things can make a really big difference when trying to refill so I really really encourage you to try them if you're not already before moving on all right so starting off with method number one which is what I like to call the circle refill and all it is is going into your inventory and clicking as fast as possible and making a circular motion in your inventory so it looks something like this Alright, so I really don't recommend this method because it doesn't really give you inventory management at all. It's just like a really easy way to refill fast and quickly if you want it. But again, inventory management is really important. And if you do this like more than once or twice uh, throughout a fight and you don't manage your inventory at the same time, then your inventory is going to be really, really messy and you're not going to be, you're, you're not going to know where your pots are in your inventory. It's going to mess you up throughout the fight. You, you really want to have good inventory management when it comes to refilling. So I would really only use this if you're like about to die. I mean, it's better to have a really sloppy refill than just dying in the fight. But uh, yeah, that's method number one the circle refill. Alright, so now moving on to method number two, which I like to call the double tap refill, and that's because you're using both your left and right button on your mouse to be able to refill, uh, pressing them both at the same time or alternating between one another. So if I go into my inventory and if I just try regular refilling, just single, just regular clicking, um, you can see that a lot of the times I'm often like skipping over pots when I do it. However, with the double tap refill, when I use both my buttons at once, you can see it's a lot more consistent and I'm able to actually get a lot more and I'm actually re able to refill much faster. So again, using your left and right, just like tapping them both or alternating between them, it can really help you refill faster. And it's actually a really, really good method that I recommend much over the circle method. All right, so moving on to the last method, this is the method that I personally use, that is the jitter refill. And it's basically just jitter clicking to get all your pots in your inventory. Unlike the circle refill, you're not just doing it with like any pots, just trying to really sloppily get any pots that you can in your inventory you're actually like taking an account for inventory management so it would look something like that and yeah that's basically the jitter refill this is by far the hardest method uh, out of all the methods because it takes a lot of practice to be able to jitter and accurately like get all your pots and it's not really all that easy. Again, you have to practice it, but by far I'd say it's probably the best method. Uh, the double clicking refill is also really good, but I, I just sort of prefer this because once again, I, I jitter click. So this is sort of already like right at home for me, but uh, yeah, I guess you could also do this with butterfly clicking. However, I'm not a butterfly clicker as a lot of you may know, it's not really my thing, but if you're good at it, then I guess you could make that into like a fourth method, just butterfly and refill, but but again, you got to do it in a pattern. Just make sure you have inventory management and you're not just grabbing like any pots, whatever. But uh, yeah. All right, so now I want to talk about how to practice for refilling. And honestly, practicing for refilling could not be any easier. All you have to do is just open up a single player world like this, fill your inventory full of pots, and literally just practice every now and then just like refilling from time to time. Like you don't have to do it that often. You just have to do it like, I'd say a few minutes just every day before you like log on to your to a server. But once again, like you have to be consistent. If you want to actually see yourself improve in refilling, you have to practice. I 
Again, it's not hard. The method is super easy. You just have to be devoted to taking the time to practice if you actually want to see results. And again, like all that you need is just a few minutes each day. It's really all it takes to be able to see some improvement. So yeah. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment and I will try to answer them. If you guys have any other methods that you use for refilling faster, then make sure to also leave a comment so others can see. But with that being said, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.